welcome back. So today's video is going to be a beauty haul from my baby moon and then some other random stuff I picked up here along the way. So um, my baby moon, I'm sorry if I'm out of breath, I'm just super pregnant. Um, we went on our baby moon, which basically was like a staycation in town, but we did go to the Scottsdale um, Fashion Center, Scottsdale Fashion Square Mall um, here in Arizona and uh, stayed at a hotel near there and that was cool. We got to walk around the mall and I found out they had a Morphe store, which that was kind of neat. I'd never been to like a freestanding Morphe store. I didn't even know they had one. It was a nice surprise. Um, sorry, I'm so out of breath, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in to the things I bought. I just put everything in this bucket here and it's kind of a lot. So the large item is this palette. This is the Morphe 24G Grand Glam. It came in this like box but I took that out so the box is it's big this is a big palette um, the reason I liked it I told the girl when I went in they have so many palettes and they're all numbered and letters and 25f and you know I was like I don't know what that means I told her I want something that's like multi-purpose like I can use for my face and eyes and brows and cheeks and you know whatever and she said, I recommend this one, the 24G, because the palette's pan sizes are larger. So not those little dime size or whatever, they're like half dollars. Um, so you can get a bigger brush in it. And there is like a highlighter shade. There's a couple pinky shades. So you can use it for blush. But then you also get like your deep browns for your outer V. You get your eyebrow shade. You know, like you get a lot of variety in here. And the pan sizes is big. Um, let me just grab like a big brush. You can see. Like, you can get away with using a big brush on one of these. So I can use this for, like, bronzer, blush, or a shimmery blush if I want, highlighter. I can line, you know, do my brows with one of these soft browns, outer V, transition. Uh, you know, the only thing this palette is missing is, like, a soft off-white, like a matte bone color that I could use for under my brow um, or to set my under eye if I want, like, a brightening shade. But this palette's awesome. So... The way I see myself using this is not necessarily for travel because it's kind of bulky, but and there's no mirror. But would be like in my own house when I have my daughter or both daughters, and I can't just like come in the bathroom and spend 20 minutes doing my makeup, or like I need to go and take it into the other room and I can't sit at my vanity and like you know bring a bunch of things. I'll grab this foundation concealer and mascara you know what I mean and I can use a skinny brush and do my eyeliner with it it's kind of like that's it and lip gloss or something so um pretty pretty cool palette and I think that was only 25 bucks it wasn't very much um also at the Morphe store oh shoot that was nice I just bought a mouthwash and uh dumped it into the bucket with all the other makeup sweet <laughs> thought I smelled something minty and fresh oh well um, also at Morphe I got three eyeliners the thing that amazed me about Morphe's eyeliners I want to say they were four dollars or six dollars I mean they were so affordable like even compared to like Walmart like cover girl or something theirs were cheaper and they were creamy they're called the color pencil Morphe color pencils they are the kind you have to sharpen you know boo but I got three. The first one is easy to distinguish. This is called Dusty. And it's like that perfect light brown for a tan kind of color. It's like a nice color for your lower lash line when you don't want anything too harsh. So that's Dusty. And I don't have anything like this. I always have like that chocolate brown that would be good for like your upper lash line if you want like some definition, but I didn't have anything like that. And then I got the shade Trendsetter. And I'll show you that in a second. And then this one is called Date Night. So Trendsetter is that chocolate brown. And then Date Night is more of a burgundy. Trendsetter is in the middle. And then Date Night is like a burgundy shade. And I also don't have many of that. So those are so affordable. I was really impressed. Um, let's see if I can get it off. Yeah, they blend really nicely. They last a pretty good amount of time. I've had them for a few weeks now, and I've used them several times. And uh, so far, so good. So I like those. Um, also, when I was at um, the mall, I decided to buy this. I had the sample uh, right here. I got a sample of the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. This is the Protect one that's SPF 30. And I'm, I'm 
squeezing it down. So SPF 30, I put this on under my makeup and then my foundation might be like SPF 15, you know? And I feel like, well, I'm not gonna wear sunscreen, but at least if I can like do that, I don't feel so bad. And then, I thought this one was SPF, but anyway. So I got that in the full size because I was almost out and I liked the primer so much. So this is Laura Mercier Foundation Primer Protect in um, SPF 30, broad spectrum, 1.7 fluid ounces. And this is a, uh, what's the active ingredient here? Oh, baby has the hiccups. I'm trying to find it. I'm trying to find like the, you know, what kind of, if it's like titanium dioxide or whatever. Um, I can't find it. I'm sure it's on here, but. All right, well, you know. I really don't see it. it it's probably on here. I just don't speak science language, so. Anyway, um, and then I went to the Lush store and I intended on buying a belly like massage bar or lotion bar for my stomach because my stomach just gets really dry and itchy. But I didn't end up buying that because it was like expensive and you have to buy the tin to hold the bar of soap look and lotion stuff extra on the side. It just seemed like too much. So I ended up getting a sample of this Lush um, Silky Underwear. It's a dusting powder. And this is like a teeny tiny little pot and I don't want to waste it. But it's basically like a little white powder that you put like where you're, anywhere you're going to chafe. And they say it feels like silky underwear and it really does. It's a very soft texture. Um, like if your thighs rub together in the summer, you know, you get sweaty. This is a really cool idea. I haven't used it um, on my thighs, but I felt it and it just feels so nice. So I recommend that. Um, and then got a couple of shampoo, uh, shampoo and conditioner. This is uh, from Walmart. The Head and Shoulders. No, this actually came in a two pack from Big Lots. <laughs> it was the Head and Shoulders um, Perithiazone. Perithione Zinc Jam Dandruff Shampoo. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. You know what I'm talking about. Nourishing Hair and Scalp Care um, Lavender. I haven't bought the lavender one before. And then this one was from Walmart. This is the Head and Shoulders Deep Moisture Daily Hair and Scalp Conditioner infused with avocado oil. I have a dry, itchy scalp when I'm pregnant. Like, I get flakes. Like, it's crazy. If I just go like this, I can have, like, white fluff all over my hair so I have to like really try hard not to touch my head because then I get like flakes everywhere if I just leave it alone and I use the shampoo and conditioner every other day I'm usually okay but uh, oh my gosh this stuff is like dripping from the mouthwash awesome um, I bought these at Walmart I think and I really wanted to try them I know witch hazel is like a natural thing you can use it says Gentle astringent for oily, irritated, red, damaged, blemished, or inflamed skin. And it's 25 rinse-free cloths with aloe. Um, but yeah, they're just basically like for acne, but it's like a toner in a washcloth format, a you know, wipe. And I'm so lazy. I don't want to get cotton balls and have to go and dip and turn the bottle upside down. I just don't want to do that. So I've been trying these out. I've only used a handful, so I can't say if they're like amazing, but I do like the concept, so still have acne take that for what it's worth um, and then I got several of these dial soaps this is the dial um, liquid antibacterial soap in spring water love the scent I bought like probably four of this kind because the color is like clearish with a little hint of blue that matches most of the rooms and bathrooms in our house I also bought this Burt's Bees natural acne solutions and um, oh, I wonder if this is leaking too nice um, this is the salicylic acid acne treatment from willow bark targeted spot treatment so my OBGYN did just tell me that now that I'm late in the pregnancy I can use a little bit of salicylic acid only on the parts where my acne is like the spot treat you know not like all over so I've been trying this one this one my beef with it from Burt's Bees is that the applicator is just like a hole and you need to like use a, a q-tip or a cotton ball or something and it's messy it's 0.75% acne treatment, salicylic acid. It's stinky, messy, very affordable. I got it at Target, I think, and it was like 
under 10 bucks. It might have been like 8 bucks. And um, yeah, it's really stinky. Like really smells really bad. And I'm only using it like right here. You know, I don't want to use much because I'm pregnant and I know salicylic acid isn't like great. I just use like, I touch a cotton uh, tip of a Q-tip to it and then I go tap, 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 and I'm done, you know? So it's smelly though. Like even just that little amount, I can totally smell it. Um, and then last but not least, or no, I have one more item after this. Um, this is the Beauty Protector Protect and Tang Detangle Leave-In Detangler. And this came in a subscription box. I think it was um, Birchbox or BoxyCharm. I don't remember, but a detangler. I don't usually use them. I don't need to. My hair's like fine and thin and easy to get out knots, but I thought this would be good for my daughter, so I kept it. Um, a lot of that stuff, you know, it's not really my jam anymore. I don't even know why I get subscription boxes. Probably should cancel them. But um, the other thing is the um, Smiths, Smitty, Smiths, Dr. Smiths. I can't remember the name of it. I don't have it on me. The Rosebud Lip Salve, something like Rose Lip Salve. I had forgotten my um, Nivea lip butter and like my chapstick or anything on our baby moon. And when I was at the mall, I went to Sephora and I got that um, lip balm and I just don't like it. Like it's fine and I keep it in my purse because it's like better than nothing, but compared to what I'm used to, the Nivea or even chapstick or Carmex or petroleum jelly, eh, not worth the money. And it wasn't a, a very expensive. I want to say it was like six or eight bucks for Sephora. That's like one of the cheapest products they have in the whole store, but it just didn't do anything for my lips. I don't recommend that, but that is it for the stuff I picked up recently. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.